Hello everyone, I am back in New York City. So happy to be back, oh my gosh. I just got back last night uh, and I spent the night in my bed. It was so nice and in my room that I missed so much that I haven't seen in like over two months. I think it's been over two months. I came here in the beginning or mid-March, something like that. Missed my stuff, I like forgot I had some stuff. I had so many packages and I was gonna do an unboxing but you guys, it took me an hour to undo all the packages and they weren't even like that exciting so i was like whatever i'll just tell you guys if i got anything exciting and honestly nothing was that exciting besides my new aloe yoga mat which i'm very excited about and i'm gonna work out in the park so that's gonna be nice i'm gonna go later today because it's like beautiful outside and i'm just so happy to be here but i already had a call today i do have a consultation in an hour but i just have to do emails because yesterday since i was traveling i literally did zero work so i am going to be doing like all my emails and stuff today so gonna be doing that. Pranaya is here. She has been here the entire time. I know I'm gonna get questions about that. She's been here the whole time. She hasn't left. Very excited to be back with her. Every single day that it's nice outside, we're gonna go on a really long walk, which is gonna be really nice. It's so weird having masks on, though. It does make me really, really sad, um, like, having to wear a mask. I know, obviously, you have to wear a mask, but it is, it makes me very sad seeing, like, everyone with masks on. Like, I just think it's, like, looks depressing like i know i'm not sad that people aren't wearing masks i'm just sad that like the state of the world that we're in if that makes sense oh i miss the noise of my room <laughs> that's like kind of weird being here with that but that's about it everyone else is still walking around outside everyone's social social distancing but like people are out it's not a ghost town at all that's kind of what i was expecting and i think people kind of make it seem like that but at least where i live in the city it's not a ghost town like i live also right by a walkway so like there's a lot of people outside walking around which is really nice um but yeah i'm excited to be back and i can't wait for more new york vlogs hey guys so i clearly have been gone for like two months like i said so i do not have groceries so i did order from thrive market this is not sponsored i just paid for the membership um but i did see it on a bunch of youtube videos and i have used it in the past so i was like okay i think it's gonna be a good investment for me so i am a real member of thrive market do have like affiliate links and stuff so i'll have it linked down below for you guys if you guys want to sign up but I want to show you guys a little grocery haul of what I got. So I'm really going to try to start cooking more. I was scared that coming back to New York, I would just like eat out every single meal, which I probably will try to like support a lot of local businesses while I am here, but I am going to try cooking actually. So, okay. So this thing I got like sourdough bread. So this is just sourdough bread and you just put it in the oven. And apparently it's so good. The reviews on Thrive Market were amazing for this. And I love sourdough bread. It's like my favorite type of bread. So I just got this and I think it'll be nice to like smell the apartment like nice fresh baked breads. Okay, next thing I got is sprouted brown rice. I just don't have any brown rice here. So I just got a little pack of brown rice. And then I got these roasted coconut chips because I love coconut chips. And I just thought I'd be like a good snack. I also caved and I got two packs of Smart Sweets. It just looks really good and I'm always craving gummies. Okay, so I got capers. I love capers. I just love anything that has that like bitter taste like olives, pickles, banana peppers, anything like that. Like I love. So I got capers. I think it's good to throw on like salads and just any meals like with rice. Mm, so good. I got red curry paste because when I was home, I made the best coconut curry and it was so good. Okay, I also got fusilli. This is actually the red lentil and quinoa pasta. It has 23 grams of protein, which is so many grams of protein. So I got this because I'm going to be making, I think tonight, spicy fusilli from John and Vinny's. I made it again in my last vlog you guys saw and it was like one of the best meals I have made in such a long time. They also have oat milk on Thrive Market, which is really nice. They have like the barista blend and it's just nice because it's cheaper. So this was, I think, $3. And normally when we buy oat milk at the grocery store, it's like $5, like Oatly is. Okay, now we got this organic coconut milk again for the curry okay so i got a bunch of spices because i just feel like we don't have spices in this apartment so i got a ton of spices pranay and i are out here by the water at this park and we are about to do our workout it is so nice outside i have a view of the world trade center while i'm working out everyone out here it's like a workout park but everyone is also practicing social distancing so there's a lot of people but very spread out it's just so pretty i'm so happy to be working out over here but it was so hard carrying 20 pounds over in my bag like the 20 pounds on one shoulder it was so heavy Okay, 
Okay guys, so I just got back from working out and showered back in the purple robe anyways i am about to unpack and clean my entire apartment so i didn't i don't have that much to unpack because i did not bring that much stuff home in the first place so i just have this one suitcase to pack but my room is kind of messy already so i'm just gonna clean up because i did a bunch of like unboxing and had a ton of packages so um like i got these shoes from kenneth cole because i was gonna do a video with them and then they canceled because of corona so they still sent me the shoes which is really nice um i randomly ordered like a bunch of toothpaste and also brought home or brought back a bunch of toothpaste because i wasn't sure if i had toothpaste here so now i have a lot of toothpaste which is great so dear survivor i actually just had her on my podcast she is amazing um i interviewed the founder of dear survivor and it's this like really really pretty handmade jewelry a portion of the proceeds actually go and help human trafficking victims and also the people that make them um they i'm not sure exactly what they do but they are also she's giving back also by like the people that make the jewelry as well so i think that these are so beautiful and they're like made with so much love and i really really love them so i'm gonna have them linked down below if you guys want to check them out i think these earrings are just so pretty it says here this is a sustainable product made with upcycled material and responsibly sourced 14 karat gold fill metal yeah it's awesome so highly recommend if you're going to support a business during this time please support them let's get cleaning <laughs> breath i just went downstairs to take the trash out and i'm so out of breath so i am about to clean the apartment it is very very messy i have my workout clothes on but i'm going to be cleaning this week has been a super slow week for me um i haven't done that much work because i have been dealing with some personal stuff and then also just traveling and coming back here i feel like i kind of took half the week off which is totally fine so after this weekend next week i'll be back into the swing of things but this one is a little bit slow of a weekend so anyways i just cleaned my room pretty nice and clean my friend dropped off her plants because she is going back home and really needs someone to take care of her plants so i have this plant up here i think it's so beautiful it just makes my room you guys like look at this doesn't that just look so good? Especially when like that's gonna be closed. I just think it's gonna look so good because I already have, that's a fake plant. And then she gave me these two plants, so beautiful. She dropped off a ton of her kitchen stuff. Sorry, the dishwasher is really loud. So now we have an extra Nespresso. My Nespresso, I just have to figure out a way where to put everything. She got this plant, this plant, so pretty. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of figuring out what to do with our apartment because it's just like a giant mess since the stuff has been dropped off and like traveling and yeah it's just it's very messy so i'm gonna have to be cleaning this up okay guys so i kind of cleaned up this entire like area of the kitchen so i reorganized a lot of things so i do have like my mugs the coffee tea and then i put like the syrup and the sugar up there and then over here we didn't really reorganize that much but i'm gonna move i think the oatmeal to this area because i want this just to be all of the pantry and then my friend dropped off some stuff like i said so i just put her stuff up there so that it's not in the way as for this area i put all of like our reusable cups um over here and then i put our tupperware up there and that is a humidifier up there and i reorganized the plant area i think it looks so beautiful like it just gives so much light to the room so here's my front door so just picture it like you're walking in and you see this beautiful like kitchen sink with all the plants. I just think it's really, really pretty. And then now I'm trying to tackle this area. So over here we have a lot of our vitamins and I just put a bunch of like breakfast stuff up there, but I'm gonna try organizing it. I don't really wanna use that area because it's just like too high for anyone to reach. So we have like an extra air filter there and like a random package. But yeah, gonna try tackling like this area next. <laughs> This is 
is what it looks like now. Have the breakfast food right there, vitamins up there, random stuff right there, and I think I'm gonna keep it that way. I have no idea what to do with on top of the fridge, so I might just keep it that way for now. But yeah, don't know what to do there. But yeah, I think the kitchen is starting to look a lot nicer and better. Definitely looking way more clean and organized, which is really nice. I don't know when to tackle the fridge. I might tackle the fridge with Pernaya later. But yeah, uh, might do that later. Also, this living room just looks a little nuts because we are getting rid of this rug. So if anyone wants to buy it for $200, this rug is on sale right now online for $600 someone wants to buy it and can pick it up from New York, I'm not delivering anything um, or shipping anything out, then let me know. Uh, but yeah, we put this here because we were thinking to get a three by five rug, but we just see it kind of looks dumb. So we are not doing that, but that rug is originally in Pernea's room. Yeah, here's the living room. Gonna start cleaning this now. I am working out here again at this park. It's so nice. Everyone here is like laying out actually. A lot of people are working out, but a lot of people are laying out also. It's just so beautiful. And nice out, so I'm about to do a leg workout today. And it's so hot, it's 80 degrees. It feels like summer. <laughs> iced coffee my laptop and i'm about to edit today's video which is the one that i am filming right now this one that you guys are watching i just showered did not wash my hair but washed my body put lotion all over and it just like i feel so nice like it's starting to feel like summer when you're really hot outside and you come home and you shower and you put on a good smelling lotion and you spray some perfume on and you just like feel like yourself like that is how i feel right now especially drinking that iced coffee so really excited to edit this video and have it go up i'm so happy that the new york vlogs are back i hope that you guys are enjoying these and i know i am like my i might not be showing you guys like me outside as much but like i am wearing a face mask every time like at the grocery store today when i walk to the exercise place social distancing is going on in new york city i know that a lot of people um there's like pictures of people at parks and they're like super crowded i think there are groups of people that have just been quarantining together and they're like going there but like from what i have seen everyone's been social distancing i haven't been here on a weekend yet tomorrow is my first weekend but like i don't know from what i've seen it's been pretty like good everyone's been really good at that like if you don't have a mask outside you're like an outsider like that's every single person outside has a mask on um it's very strange if you don't have one on but also a lot of people were asking like on instagram how was it and i think because new york is such a hot spot for the coronavirus it it feels very like eerie to come here and i was really really nervous coming here and i'm i was like so surprised at how normal it felt and like people are out and about the weather's getting nice i mean don't get me wrong it's still like i think everyone here is so much more cautious because in north carolina when like if you go to a store like not everyone has a mask on like over here they don't let you in stores if you don't have a mask on so like that's obviously people are taking more seriously here but i don't know i i do feel like it feels kind of normal if you guys are from new york let me know i mean it's it's not normal because we can't do anything but like walking outside doesn't feel like the walking dead which is like what i thought and what i was expecting like it to be like so empty but anyways i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video i hope that you guys are staying safe let me know how it is like in your area because some states have already reopened so i'd love to know how that's like um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys